Hello everybody, it is me, Mr. Vince, and I hope you all have a great day today. And that's right guys, the July update has officially released, and surprisingly, it actually released Friday afternoon. Nice. So in this video, I'm going to talk about nearly everything that was added as part of the July update. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So we got ourselves a brand new prison bus as well as target locking, rocket launchers, and some new trade features slash garage items. So I'll go ahead and be a cop and I will go ahead and show you guys a brand new code that was released to jailbreak and this code will expire in a few days so please keep that in mind. But the code is July 2023. So this is the code right here and if you redeem it for the first time you get 10,000 cash as you can see July 2023 will expire so please keep that in mind but now I'll go ahead and show you guys the brand new prison bus so if you want to find the brand new prison bus you have to go over to the visitors building and it is right here as you can see it costs 150,000 cash and just like the Goliath you can get inside of the prison bus which I think is very realistic so i'll go ahead and buy the prison bus and voila i just bought the prison bus it says bussin and honestly i think this is a pretty cool vehicle this is the first ever bus in jailbreak and you can customize the prison bus so you can drive in first person and you can finally become a bus driver so this vehicle is not very fast as you can see it can go up to about 120 miles per hour with level 5 engine, which is actually not that good for a vehicle, but that's expected because this vehicle seats up to 15 people, which I think is absolutely insane. There is a brand new feature that was added as well, so you can now buy vehicles directly from the garage. As you can see, I can buy the Bugatti Chiron for 500000 without having to go over to the vehicle. But I'll go ahead and use the Shogun so I can show you guys some extra things. So as part of this update, we got 11 new cosmetics. So I'll go ahead and show you guys every single one. So the first few are rims. So over here, we got the Space R rims and they cost 25,000. And as you can see, we got the Space R rims and they look amazing. We also have the RX-1 rims, which cost 15000 and again, they look incredible. And then we got the Unified rims, and honestly, I think they look great. They're 40000 so they're pretty expensive. And then we got the Vichyo rims, they cost 20000 and again, they look fantastic. And over here, we got the VFX rims, which cost 35000 and those are the brand new rims as part of the update. And then over here, we also got some brand new spoilers. I'll go ahead and equip the RTX rims again. So if I go ahead and go over to spoiler, we got a couple new spoilers. So if you want to find them, you have to go over here. And there are actually four of them. So we got the Trouble Wing spoiler, which is the most expensive of the four. As you can see, this is the Trouble Wing spoiler. And I think it looks amazing. I'll go ahead and apply a different color. So that way it's easier to see the spoilers. But over here we also got the You Can't Catch Me spoiler, which costs 50000 And honestly, this spoiler is very, very funny. Don't run away. Boy, if you don't... <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And then over here we got the Suit Tech spoiler, which costs 20000 And last but not least is the Dragster spoiler, which costs 25000 Now. For those who are curious, the suit tech spoiler can't really be customized, so unfortunately you can't customize the suit tech spoiler, no. but you can customize every other spoiler, which I think is awesome. I'll go ahead and buy the new trouble spoiler and boom. There was also a change where if you buy an item in the garage, the garage will still stay open. So that is a very good change. And as you can see, it stays open. This was a minor change that was made. So I'll go ahead and buy nearly every new item that was added as part of the update. So I'll go ahead and buy these new rims and boom, I went ahead and bought some new stuff. Rest and pizza to my money. 
but this is just for the video. So I bought the new rims and I think the new rims look fantastic. We also have some new tires. So over here we got the Parisian tires and then we got the Leap Year tires, which cost 25,000. Now, I'll go ahead and show you guys a brand new furniture item that was added as part of the July update. All right, so the brand new furniture item that was added as part of the update is the confetti cannon. Now, if you want to get the brand new confetti cannon, you have to go over to the store and it is part of floor furniture. All right, so this is the brand new confetti cannon and you can buy one, but as you can see, the confetti cannon costs 25,000, which is actually pretty cheap. So I'll go ahead and buy the confetti cannon and voila, I bought the new confetti cannon. This is the item and I think this item is really, really cool. All right, so yeah, this is the confetti cannon. As you can see, it is pretty expensive, but it does actually work as you can see. Now, when you go ahead and interact with the confetti cannon, it will shoot confetti and you will actually get launched. So this is the confetti cannon and it's actually really cool now you can only have one all right so as you can see we didn't get any new commands this update but now i'll go ahead and show you guys some changes regarding jailbreak trading so i'll be right back everybody all right so here i am inside of jailbreak trading so first off time traded has been removed and as you can see we got two new statistics now as you can see the prison bus was traded zero times which means literally nobody traded the prison bus but that will change and as you can see we also got the creation date it is still there but we no longer have times traded over here we also got a brand new sort called high demand and it does update live but as you can see the icebreaker is the fourth most demanded in my inventory but the torpedo is the most demanded and that will change in the future so if you look at the torpedo, yep, there is no more times traded. And that was a huge change because times traded was obnoxious. Honestly, I love the new high demand sort. It kind of makes it easier to see what items are high demanded and whatnot. So as you can see, the snowstorm is pretty high demanded and that also goes for the digital confetti. But now I'll go ahead and explain some other things that were released as part of this update. So I'll go ahead and be right back. All right, so I am back inside of my own server and there was a good change with the rocket launcher. So there are now guided rockets. And if you look at any aerial vehicle, then you'll see a hexagon shaped icon and it will highlight itself in red eventually. But if you do shoot a rocket at it, then as you can see, yep, the rocket is chasing the helicopter. And I don't know if it actually damaged the helicopter, but I'll go ahead and try again. So as you can see, the rocket actually went toward the helicopter and I think it damaged the helicopter so that's good if I go ahead and shoot again then it's not actually going to hit it directly but of course the shots are not always accurate but yeah now I'll go ahead and explain some other things that were released as part of the update so there was a patch where you could roll backwards but as of this update it is no longer possible to roll backwards and as you can see nothing happened so yeah that means that the backwards roll glitch was fixed but now I'll go ahead and talk about the infamous C glitch. So as of the July update, the C glitch has been officially patched. So if I go ahead and punch and I arrest, yeah, you can see that my account is still sitting down when arrested, but there is a little change that was made. And as you can see, yep, they got teleported. GG! Finally, it took this long for it to be fixed. So what Asimo did was that when a player gets arrested and they sit in a chair, as soon as they get kicked off their seat, they get teleported directly. This was a big patch that I'm happy about. This was by far the most obnoxious glitch in Jailbreak, and it has officially been patched as of this update. All right, so now I'll go ahead and show you guys proof that the glitch has been patched. So. I'll go ahead and stand on top of this chair and if I go ahead and punch one time and I go ahead and arrest my account, then as you can see my account is still sitting on the chair, but what happens is my account is going to jump up and immediately get teleported. So as you can see, yep, it happened.
But anyway, that is pretty much the whole update. Honestly, if I have to rate this update, I would probably give it a 9 out of 10. This is a great update, although there could be more quality of life changes. But if you guys have enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe as well. Thank you guys for the amazing support. I do reckon commenting down below. I do read and love your comments. But as always, my name is Mr. Vince. I hope you all have a great day today. But I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.